everyone your crypto accountant here so how are you doing this friday evening um shout out to linda p jones um, um she dropped a trade on twitter and it's totally making sense and the russia ukraine has just um fast-tracked what is to become and what is to become is the world reserve currency um, powered by xrp we all know what XRP is going to be doing. XRP is going to be the neutral bridge connecting all the world's digital currency. And what is going on between Russia and Ukraine has actually um, sped the whole process because we are currently experiencing a currency war among the G7 countries, among the world powers. Everyone, uh, especially Russia, is trying to um, avoid the euro and avoid the dollar and they are saying that if you're going to be buying gas from them you need to set up a Russian bank account and you need to start uh, paying in rubble which is Russia's local currency okay so I will look through I'll read through um, Linda's thread and we're gonna be explaining um, what's going on so let's go so the trade says, I could foresee a scenario where Russia stops delivering gas because Russia refuses to accept unfriendly currencies. And those currencies are euro and the dollar. And so Russia is demanding rubles. The contract state payment is to be in euros and dollars. Putin is firm on this. So going down, the G7 countries say that the contracts cannot be altered. This is the contract that have been entered into by Russia and you and the Eurozone and the United States so if you're making if the, if, if if the euro countries are making payments are paying for gas they are meant to pay in euro especially the 19 countries that are uh, under the Eurozone as well as the US the US is meant to pay using the US dollar and countries that are using the SWIFT payment system they are meant to use the US dollar but so G7 countries are saying that the countries cannot be altered. The feeling is one I have had the feeling is one that I have had since the beginning. That that it is absolutely not simple to change the currency of payments without violating the contracts. That's what it is because it is a contract and those terms need to abide need to be, you know, uh, complied with and if we are going to uh, if you're going to alter it then that means you're going to be violating the contract. Russia is demanding natural gas payments in rubles, and you know that is going to alter the contract. So, Linda is also saying that, to be clear, the US and the EU want to pay in their own currencies, which is Euro and um, the US dollar. But Russia wants rubles, so what is the solution? This is where we come in as uh, XRP holders. This is where we come in as the superheroes and we save the day. Um, arbitration will take months according to the articles you know and for for we to <laughs> the beautiful thing is this is gonna happen guys this is gonna happen and it's gonna happen fast Russia Ukraine war is gonna speed up the whole process now euro wants to pay in euros um, US wants to pay in US dollar but Russia is saying no Russia wants rubles for for their gas and also for their um, trade transactions with this um, on friendly countries as they put it so what is going to happen is in the long run they will have to be um, sooner or later there will have to be a negotiation and this negotiation will be okay you know what why not just um, let us come to a level playing field let's take a neutral currency that would not be yours not be mine but we can use that currency to be able to carry out trade and that's where xrp comes in xrp is going to be bridging this trade between russia and the g7 countries russia and the eurozone russia and the united states um which is going to put swift payment system at the back burner so this is where XRP holders come in, guys. So, going on, however, they could pass crypto laws faster than planned. Now, instead of 180 days, so they can publicly use the XRP ledger, which would allow for G7 countries to pay in euro and dollars 
and Russia will receive that payment in rubles. So we already know how the G, the, the the ripple system works. Um, US is going to pay US dollar. Euro is going to pay with Euro. It's going to pass through the XRP ledger, and at the receiving end, Russia is going to receive rubles. This is simple as it is. With gas shortages and sh and food shortages on the horizon, time is of the essence. We must solve this problem now. Get those bills fast tracked, Congress. XRP Ledger is the solution that bridges the legacy system, which is the SWIFT system. And it is of green energy, as mentioned in executive order by Joe Biden. So, guys, it's drum roll. The Ripple is an American. So, someone is actually replying to Linda saying, The Ripple is an American company. Would they trust it? Of course, they're going to trust it because it is a neutral, a neutral bridge. It is a neutral bridge. So, guys, tell me what you feel about the russia ukraine and tell me how you think this is going to end for me i think it's going to be in favor of we the xrp holders we are going to shine guys 2022 is our year so big one big one so if you like this video please smash on the like button and also subscribe and share and share and share so i am a crypto accountant big shout out to our, um, our sponsor zaneexport.com if you are into agro commodities like cocoa beans cashew nuts and other agro commodities and you're based in the u.s you're based in the uk you're based in canada um the middle east and you need this agro commodity raw materials you can contact um, our sponsors zaneexport.com um the website url will be on the description box check them out send them a mail give them a call and i'm sure they will hook you up they're based in nigeria though so guys i'll see you on the next one bye for now like to interrupt this program for a short commercial break so guys this is our adverts paying segment so this is one of our sponsors zane export llc um it's a company that is based in africa nigeria what they do is they supply agro commodities to every part of the world from nigeria africa so zane export.com is the website if you want to check them out so if you're in the u.s uh if you're in canada you're in europe um you're in the middle east wherever continent you are and you find yourself maybe probably you're a merchant for agro commodities or you're an end user um you're into um agro allied production um processes then make you want to make zane export limited your vendor partner so looking at what they provide um, going through the products okay so they do cocoa beans so um, this is a raw material for making chocolate and other chocolate diary products um, I'm looking through to tubers okay so these are the products um, there's the export cassava plantain um, taro which is called cocoa yam yam tubers which is big in the uk i guess okay so um if i want to go back um looking at what other products okay so let's check out the seedlings okay okay like i said previously they export cocoa beans um they also export cocoa husk um, um coffee maize you know okay so we're moving on um, other products which they export a little bit of rubber cotton gum arabic which is a raw material for making um, chewing gum and all that so um, if this looks like the company you want to do business with okay you can reach them um, going through to the contact you can reach them on um, the following address you can call the numbers and also send them an email and I'm sure someone will get over to you. And I think you can also reach them on, on Instagram, which is Zane Export NG. Yeah, Zane Export NG. I think you can reach them on Instagram and send them a DM. So um, Zane Export is our partner and you want to show them some love, follow them on Instagram and also visit the website. It's zaneexport.com and do good business with them. So this is the end of the commercial break. Back to the video.